Supermoto and Trials Hall, this way. That's this way. Now I know that at half past one, Supermoto's. Oh, we haven't got long, we better hurry up then, haven't we? Eh? Hang on a minute, I've only got little legs. Whoa, I tell you what, we only get, got it just in time. The lads are already lined up. There's a, the, the guy on the MC there, he's, he's introducing the fact that there's some seriously good riders here and there's an awful lot of people out there and the race is just about to start. seen some sights here in the garden, but I bet he's never seen anything quite like this. Now we did say in the right hand these things are rather entertaining, and this is definitely evidence of it. What's the score here? Just a change, it's a bit of a fresh start, done motocross and tried to do enduro for far too many years, nearly 30 years and I got the opportunity to go to Ireland uh, a year ago to race and I thought right that's for me, it's a bit of motocross, road racing but I'm stature's a bit too big so uh, went out, bought a bike, put some wheels in it and did this year's Supermoto Championship which has been like a fresh start. <laughs> So the crowd have been introduced to our famous world champion Dougie Lampkin and they were obviously very impressed with that. You don't often get a chance to meet a British world champion. And now we've got a display team, a trial display team. We've got Martin Craftway and we've got Dan Clark, two super lads, I've known them for years. They're a very talented pair and they've set up the extreme trials display team. Let's see what they get up to then. Eh? I did say when I introduced the fact that these trials lads, I did say that I've known them from the past. Well, you can tell they're a little bit younger than me, but I have known them since they were little sprogs. And you've obviously learnt a bit, guys, because that was stunning. It was a good display. What on earth possessed you to come down the avenue of doing trials displays? Well, from the start, I've always liked demonstrating and like to the showing off and yeah, posing. Off, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah. basically, we put a package together, and uh, this is what I want to promote. And but you, I mean, you've both been doing European Championships in trials, haven't you? Are you still doing that? Are you still doing that, Matt? No, I mean, we want. I'm busy now with Scorpa, and I want this to build up as well. And we need some good publicity. Uh, but it's a new idea, it's a new concept. We think we're pretty unique. We don't really have any competition in what we're doing. Yeah. And we want to try and come across to as, as many people as possible. I want to come along and have a watch when you're doing your practicing and things like that. And I can uh, teach you a thing or two. Oh no, sorry, you can teach me a thing or two. So I'm going to come along one yeah, afternoon and you'll yeah. we'll get you yeah. up and we'll get you over this big trailer. Excuse me. <laughs> it's third gear for this one, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've only ever. Sorry, I only do first gear. <laughs> Before the break, I am to show you some push bikes, and I did say I didn't fancy having a go myself because you've got to pedal the things. I also said that there are some clever young lads who ride them. Well, there's Dan and Ben here, they're the British champions. They ride them, and they're doing a demonstration here in the arena. Uh, excuse me. Taught him everything he knows. <laughs> Thank you. 
you know, I've had a thoroughly enjoyable day today. I've been inside and I've seen loads of new model machines there, all the new off-road machines. Looked at a bit of kit, some gear. I've seen the indoor arena trials guys. I've seen the young lads there on the cyclo trials. I've seen the super motards. And I've even had a walk in the park. It's fantastic. In fact, a walk in the park, it's spoilt by the noisy motorcycles. 